Nice. When you print them, take them to the heat press. Smooth them out a little. Hold on, got a phone call. Thank you for calling Taino Ang. This is John, how may I help you? Yes, we screen print. You need four colors on the front, four colors on the back, and three colors on the sleeve on black shirts. Yes, we could do that. How many shirts are you looking to get? Five? Good day to you and how you be everybody, this is Gianna Agosto here, welcome to Taino Inc. Today we're talking about six hassles and problems that us screen printers will face when dealing with clients. So let's do this. When it comes to customer service, you have to have a sense of humor and take it with good stride, let me tell you. Been a couple of weeks been busy i was not able to post a video last week my apology for that i'll try to get a video ahead of time i don't like missing a week and it got very hectic a lot of work but also dealing with some clients and that's why today i'm talking about that so let's talk about the sixth one the first one that I, you will most everybody is going through is i call them window shoppers so window shopper I don't know. Window shopping. You know, you have prospects. Prospects is a good thing. You gotta have a list of prospects, people calling, they thinking about it. When you don't have prospects, you better go out there and start looking for work because prospects, they always pop up. I guess some people call me asking for a quote, they got it. They say they're gonna order a month pass, then they come and order. So as long as you have prospects, it's a good thing. But in there, a lot of those prospects are window shoppers. They will come, they will call, they will even make an appointment to see the shirts and look at the shirts. And the moment one of them will go, let me go talk to someone and I'll let you know, eh, kind of fishy, because you got some that will come and they'll, they'll place the order. But those are the ones. Don't get your, your hopes high on uh, these prospects. Just call them prospects and let's see if they're gonna order their order, if they're not, it's okay. Number two, getting clients to pick up. I had two clients that had to come and pick up their order and they took forever, you know? And sometimes you, you know, as screen printers, we only ask for 50% down payment and then the other 50 when you pick up. But now this guy wants to take over a month to pick up your order and you, you, you need this money. You know, we're not a big company. We're not big companies that we have money all over the place. Sometimes we're counting on this money so we could keep working. You know, sometimes I need to get some ink. Sometimes that's how it works. So what you do is you give that client a time period. Tell them you only have a certain amount of time after that. I'm not sure. I probably will sell your shirts. So I'll, I'll put it because I'm counting on this money. You know, if you, you, the same way that we tell you guys I have seven to 10 days to do the order, tell them you also have seven to 10 days to pick up the order. How about that one, right? That sounds good. All right. Number three. Number three is clients asking for quotes for a large quantity, then order less than half of that. They'll come and say, I need a quote for a hundred t-shirts. Bam, you give it to them. Good, we're gonna place the order. They come, they give you the sizes, and then you count. It's only 24 shirts here, 24 shirts. They expect the same price, you know? And you have to let them know from the, from the get-go. You gotta let them know. Let them know if you these, this is the quote for a hundred shirts. And if you're gonna order less than this, the price changes. Same is if you're gonna order more, the price will change. But let them know if you're gonna order, look, if, if your bracket, you know, from your price chart 
is from 75 to 150. Let them know, you ordering 100, if you order less than 75, price change. If you order more than 150, price change. Let them know that so they won't come and kick you with that one, okay? Number four. Number four is when clients call, they want six shirts, and out of those six shirts, they're asking for two designs. That's crazy. That's you, you got to let them know it's a minimum. It's a minimum. Oh, you could, you, um, I could do it sublimation. I could heat press them. They don't want. They want screen print. They want black shirts, white ink on it. You got to let them know from the beginning. He said, look, there is a minimum. There is a minimum for for orders. If you're gonna do two designs. You have to order at least a minimum of a dozen, and then a dozen, let them know because they always gonna come. They think that we putting the shirt and printing it real quick is nothing. They only see you printing. They don't see the work that goes through reclaiming the screens, putting the emotion, the ink, uh, aligning. They don't see that work. They just see, oh, you just see, just passing the squeegee and it gets done quick. <laughs> so let them know from the get-go that is a, you have a minimum for that. Number five. Number five is this is the, my funniest one, which I learned. I went through it and I said no more. Is creating a design for a client and you send them the original file. You send them the PNG. You send it and then they don't order. They don't order. And later you catch them on Instagram or Facebook wearing the design you did. They went and sent it somewhere else. You believe that? Yeah, I went through that a few times. And I said, no more. I'll take a little small file from Google on a t-shirt and then copy and paste that baby on it. Put some watermarks on so they won't steal your free Free design because I do a lot of them. I do a lot of free design. That's the thing that separates me from me and a lot of other screen printers. I, I do it for free. I, I just I create this and you like it. Good, we got it. But stay away from sending the clients the whole file because they will take it. And now, if you wanna use it, that's up to you. That's on a contract. Hey, you want to keep it, you want to use it, you're going to you're gonna have to charge, I'm going to have to charge you because if they're asking for it, most likely they might send this somewhere else. You won't get this client no more. So make a deal with them. Say, look, I'll charge you $75 for that image and I'll, and I'll send it to your original file so you could do whatever you want with it and I have no problems. That's what you do with those. And the final one, number six. Number six is Klein orders two more or three more shirts after they picked up their order. A week later, two weeks later, whatever. Once they pick up the order, they'll call you a week later or two weeks later. Oh, I need three more shirts. Don't. Let them know from the beginning that if you're going to order this amount of shirts, I advise you to order a little extra of at least five shirts extra of each each this each size whatever you think because they think that just because you charge them for like when you say charging them for a screen you understand which that's another one i should have put seven but it's still in the same thing you're charging for a screen they think that screen is there it's saved all you got to do is get it and print again and they don't they don't understand that that's not how it goes. Let them know that once your order is done, those screens, I reclaim those screens. You know, don't let them know I got so many screens on. I have to reclaim those screens. I got to use them for another job. So if you're going to order again, now you have to wait and get at least a dozen and let them know that the price changes. The price changes with that. So those are the six ones that I went through in the in these two weeks, I went through that and it's constant. So I'm just trying to let you guys know, try to get ahead of them, prepare yourself because you're going to go through this. And like I said before, man, when it comes to customer service, you better have a sense of humor because all you're going to do, like I do, I just be laughing and I be like, I, but that's how it is. This is what you love doing. You don't want that to come and hurt you and get you in a bad mood and argue with people. You don't want that. Just, if whoever, whoever screen print is because they love it, man. Because this job, 
It's not because it's easy and it's a lot of money in it. No, it's, it's something that you love to do. And I believe that all screen printers that do it, they're doing it because they love it. So if you like this video, press that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. May God bless you all. Be grateful and peace out.